Hey guys, it's really nice day today and I'm on my scooter because my bike's broken at the minute. Rocking the old classic MPP in the days. But today I'm going to show you how to do a few things because my bike's broken, it's a really nice day and I don't want to sit inside. And scooter's like the closest thing I have to a bike that I can play with. So today I'm going to teach you how to bar spin, tail whip, manual and that weird Oreo thing because that's quite fun. So let's get into the video. So I'm at home now, a bit of a change of plan. I came home because quite a lot of people just went down the skate park, so I prefer to do it here. So we're gonna do it at the front. Um, this series I'm gonna do, this is basically gonna be a series. Um, cause I haven't been scootering for a while, I'm gonna learn the same time as you guys are. Cause most of the time with scooter riders videos, they can already do quite a lot of tricks. I can do the basics like whip, double whip, bar, bar whip three, that kind of stuff. But I can't do the big tricks. So when I learn them, I'll be learning them for the first time, same with you. So I think this series will be quite good. Make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you think it's a good idea. And I'll see you in the video. Let's get the first clips, which would be a tail whip. Tail whip flat legs. So let's learn how to do a tail whip. Right, so what you just saw are two different types of tail whips. One was just a basic tail whip and the second one was a whip catch. Now a whip catch is basically where you tail whip and catch it in midair before you land back on the ground. And that one's a bit more difficult and you'd have to hop a lot higher for that. But we're going to start off with the basic whip first. So the first thing you want to try is just, just try it out. Just see how close you are because it all depends on how close you are and how much work you need to do for this. So when I first did it, I couldn't get around at all. I just kept doing it and kept doing it. It's best to try out ramps, to be honest, first. Like a flat bank or something, because it's not too high, you don't need too much speed, but it gives you that pop you need, just a little bit, and then it's close to whip flat. So I'm just going to show you a few tips here on how to do it easier. So the first tip I have for learning a tail whip flat is to learn a trick called an old school tail whip, which I'll demonstrate right now. Learning that trick might seem kind of stupid and it is a bit of a rookie trick but it really helps you out in learning to land back on the deck because obviously you're flicking it around and then have to land back on the deck and it's helping you with your wrists a bit. Um, and another main part of this learning a whip flat is learning to spin the deck just with your wrists. So hold the deck next to you and literally just spin it and have a go at that and then that will give you wrist control. Right, next up is to work out where you want your feet. So I, I do a whip really weirdly. I kick it out with my feet one way, and then when I land the whip, my feet are the other way, which makes it kind of harder to do like whip clears and stuff, because I land with the, my feet the other way, which feels horrible. But I manage, I, I can do it the other way, it just feels horrible to land with my feet the same way. It, it makes no sense, it makes screwing really hard for me. <laughs> but either way, if you, ride ski it'll be quite a lot harder so I'd recommend putting both feet across the deck sideways it gives you a lot more stability and a lot more catching uh, space really I don't know what else to call it but yeah I'll, I'll demonstrate it all right so Basically, if you piece all them pieces together, you will hopefully be a bit close to land a whip flat or even um, whip catch. So, to do a whip catch, I didn't really explain, but you literally just catch it higher. There's nothing to explain, really. So, I hope this helped out. I'll do the other things I mentioned at the start of the video in a different video because I don't really have time to do it right now. So, they'll be in part two and part three and part four, hopefully. Uh, and hopefully, this series will get some support and. Maybe, who knows, <laughs> some subscribers will come with it. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you liked it and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.